In this tutorial, I'll show you how bussing your tracks can save you time while producing your podcast and other projects. Let's get started. So here I have a standard podcast set up, four different voices, four different recordings. Now, uh, for the sake of this, they're actually all me, but recorded separately. I'm going to show you how bussing these tracks together can help you quickly produce the effect that you need, compression and all that stuff. Uh, so all the tracks sound really good together, because right now they don't sound quite even. Let's take a listen. Hi, this is a test recording. I'm going to interact with this voice here. Oh, hi, yeah, I'm interacting with you too. And this voice here. Okay, great interaction. And this voice here. Okay, this isn't very good. Okay, so you can plainly hear that uh, there's some preset stuff that's set up for the host recording, so that's going to sound the way it sounds, and we kind of want the other tracks to at least more closely match the sound of the host, so it sounds like we're having a nice, even conversation. And yeah, you can do all this with presets and templates that you've got set up, so let's say this is a situation where you haven't got the time to do that, or you're, you know, something came up, you don't have your presets in there, or maybe you have three guests you didn't expect to have that day. Not to mention the fact that that when you put all kinds of different processing on one, two, three additional tracks, it's going to use a whole lot more of your computer's processor. For instance, if you have a compressor on four separate tracks, you don't have a compressor running, you have four compressors running in real time, and that can lag down your stuff. So, bussing tracks is a great way to save on computer processing and your processing, putting all these tracks together. So a bus is actually just a relay input. Think of it like taking kids to school. Some kids get on this bus to go to this specific school. Other kids get on this bus, go to that school. So I'm going to group these kids together, and our school in this instance is probably going to be like a single band compressor or something. I'm going to send them there. I'm not going to send this group of kids to school. All right? Pretty cheesy. But think of it that way if you're confused. So let's make our bus. Okay, so if you go over here on the left channel, on any one of these inputs, if you click the arrow next to master, you go down to this little menu where it says bus. You can add a new bus in mono stereo or 5.1, whatever you choose. I've already created one. It's called bus A. Here it is right down here. So instead of adding different filters or effects on each track, I'm going to add them all to the bus. So first, I'm going to add a compressor, amplitude compression, single band compressor, some makeup gain on here. Let's see if 14 sounds good. I'm going to throw a hard limiter on here as well. All right, let's have a listen to it. Hi, this is a test recording. I'm going to interact with this voice here. Oh, hi, yeah, I'm interacting. Uh, so why didn't it work? Well, I didn't put the kids on the bus. So what I need to do, instead of feeding this through the master, I want this track to go to bus A. I want this track to go to bus A. And I want this track to go to bus A. I'm loading the kids up on the bus. All right, now let's listen. Hi, this is a test recording. I'm going to interact with this voice here. Oh, hi, yeah, I'm interacting with you too. And this voice here. Okay, great interaction. And this voice here. Okay, this isn't very good. Okay, so they're a little louder, but there's still some stuff we need to add to it. So why don't we go here and, first of all, I hear a lot of noise. So let's go ahead and add a noise gate. So let me just default this and start everything over. I'm going to set this negative 30, 5, 300. And there was some echo, so I have a nice little echo EQ or a echo reducer. Let's throw that in and see how that works. All right, let's give a better listen now. Hi, this is a test recording. I'm going to interact with this voice here. Oh, hi, yeah, I'm interacting with you too. And this voice here. Okay, great interaction. And this voice here. Okay, this isn't very good. So they sound a whole lot closer. These two tracks down here probably need, uh, this one needs a little uh, drop down. So let's take it down, I don't know, five, six decibels. Let's see what that sounds like on this one. This one probably needs to be boosted up a couple, two or three. Now let's take a listen to these, see if it sounds more even. And this voice here. Okay, great interaction. And this voice here. Here. Okay, this isn't very good. So just like that, by setting up a bus, I was able to relay all the different compression measures that I needed, a hard limiter, a dynamic uh, noise gate, so essentially able to do everything I did in this track, all together for these tracks, and then all these tracks feed down through that input bus. And it is as simple as that to produce a nice, even, clean podcast or other project if you're working on this. This is used very often in music mixing and production, and it's a super easy way to get some overall balance in multiple tracks, and it doesn't use nearly as much processing 
missing on your computer. So look at this. One, two, three, four. That would have been four, eight, 12 additional processes running. That saves a lot of computer processing and speeds up your edit, makes everything sound great. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about it, please share your experience in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like me to put together a tutorial specifically for something that you need, please send me a message or link it in the comments below and I'll do my best. Take care.